mom, like I said, I you know I was young, you know. So you might again, not just losing her at thirteen was enough for me. No, you know, and you know I I wasn't obe disobedient to my teachers or anything of that nature. But when it was come when it came time to the teacher calling me to read to the class, I'm on some shit. Like, look, my mama passed. I ain't got time for that. I'm here. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it cordial with y'all, but. I'm not in that rural right now, you know, mm -hmm. I'm on some other shit. And right. teachers understood, of course. They understood, they That's understood. Good. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Listen, we got a guy here today, y'all. Y'all, this guy right here be working, man. He deals with media. He deals with savage life. He deals with all type of different things when it comes down to marketing. I've been watching his page. I'm looking at him. He thinks he's an internet guru. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he in the building, y'all. Super Unit is in the building with Boss Talk 101, man. Yeah, Welcome yeah. to the show, bro. Salute, man. I'm happy to be here, man. Man, it's just a blessing, man. You know what, man? I already know God was going to line it up. I just didn't know when. You know what I'm saying? You Listen, man, I got so much... Uh, you know that I want to ask you about. I want to talk to you about just, just you know, your introduction to the, you know, just the whole entertainment industry feel. You know, just dealing with all the ways that God gave it to you. So we about to get all the way into it. Miss Jamaica always start this thing off right, and I always, you know, ladies first. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm coming up. I'm coming in. So be, and I'm coming in hot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, so, for real. Um, born and raised in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. Glen Oak, um, Sherwood. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Man, south side. You hear me? Lake Erie. North, south, east, and west. <laughs> yeah. What makes Baton Rouge different from, <clears throat> say, New Orleans? Because, you know, I always hear, I, I've been hearing so many stories about New Orleans, all the different wards and all that stuff. What is so different about Baton Rouge that makes it stand out different? It's an hour away and it's Baton Rouge. Mm hmm. Baton Rouge and New Orleans are different. New Orleans is spelled in e. But culture you know. wise, like, what's the difference? Uh, I I really don't see. I like I said, man, he, we family, mm -hmm. and this interview is about bridging the gaps. Mm -hmm. You know, um, nothing separates the situation but two two five area code and a okay. five hundred four area code, and the right promoters coming together like men. You know. So I yeah you know, I've been in the back, laid back, you know I know the hottest promoters in the city. I say I'm the hottest promoter in the city of mm -hmm. Baton Rouge because hey. I'm not about to introduce you to just one promoter. I'm about to introduce you to all the promoters from the 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 uh, Adrians of uh, Baton Rouge to Q's of uh, Bella Noche to Mariko's to Club Elite to I got equity in every club in the city mm -hmm. and. You know, I don't care about boasting about that type of stuff, but, you know, every club owner that I call, they going to pick up the phone. For wow. Because sure. when I think about, okay, because um, you're talking about like a club wise, but then I'm also thinking about, because when I, I've only been to Baton Rouge once, right? Mm -hmm. But when I think about like New Orleans, I think about like all the different festivities that they be having, mm -hmm. all the Mardi Gras Mardi and all Gras, of that. The, um, do they have that in Baton Rouge as well? They do. They do. We got the 225 Fest. Okay. And, you know, again, when you come to Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. I don't know who you came through last time, mm -hmm. but you got the guy right here. Okay. You feel me? And I'm going to show you to all the other guys and all the other people that, that really be making it happen. You know, mm -hmm. um, Baton Rouge is underrated, but we the capital city. Okay. You know? Wow. We underrated because it's a lot of people that have been coming through that just been getting bamboozled and introduced to the wrong people uh, or to the right people that won't introduce them to the right people. Okay. So, like I said, you know, uh, Boss Talk got a home Man. in Baton Rouge. Louisiana. Come on now. I'm coming. We come now. Right okay. back on down now. And it's a lot of artists that need to be put together with a lot of artists here. That's all. Mm -hmm. In Dallas. You know, I've, I've been coming to Dallas for a long time. I got a home, you know, on, you know, it's right, here right, right, in right. Dallas. Uh -huh. And I've been scoping and I've been putting Mo3. Mm -hmm. I'm the first one brought his music to Baton Rouge. Uh, uh, um, uh, Ronnie, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Ronnie. I'm the first one brought his music to Baton Rouge. When it come to uh, Beezy, Yellow Beezy, mm -hmm. I'm the first one. They seen it on a Boosie platform, but 
I'm the one that made that happen, you know, okay. and, and this is facts. You know, you can go back to Damn Magazine, Ozone, Vodka, all that type of stuff. I'm the one put the promoters on in in, in Dallas to Ozone, Vodka, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, wow. And franchising and things of that nature, but, you know. That's hard, man. So, um, <clears throat> were you born in, I mean, sorry, um, with your mom and dad in the same household? Yeah, um... My mom and my dad stayed in the same household. My mom passed when I was 13 in 93. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, she was an wow. uh, instrumental part in my life. How did that affect you at 13? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, I mean, I was in school. And, uh, you know, when my mom's passed, I really didn't I really didn't give a fuck. Was she ill before she passed away? She she passed from cancer. cancer. She, she was, you know, one breast. Two breasts, right. hair, and you know it just—it was crazy from that. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. How, because yeah. so all right, because hold on, um, let me stop right there for a minute because I feel you because I lost my mom in '96 to cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, our stories line up when it comes to that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I was young, and and at the end of the day, I it, didn't care. She it, taught it, me it morals. Was, it was tough, but I knew. She had given me everything that I needed. I, she came right. and talked to me um, when she knew that it was getting close. But mm -hmm. how long was she battling with cancer before she passed away? Years, man. I say about about three, four years, three years. Did she lose her hair? Mom, like I said, I, you know, I was young. You know, so you might yeah, not just losing her at thirteen was enough for me. No, you know, and you know, I I wasn't. Obe disobedient to my teachers and anything of that nature, but when it was come when it came time to the teacher calling me to read to the class, I'm on some shit. Like, look, my mama passed. I ain't got time for that. I'm here. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it cordial with y'all, but I'm not in that world right now. You know, mm -hmm. I'm on some other shit. And right. teachers understood, of course. They understood. They that's understood. The, that's, the, the that's students dope. probably didn't understand. I, mm -hmm. I met my best friend in that same time. Oh. Wow. Because my, my teacher, she asked me to read in front of the class. And I was like, nah, get somebody else to do it. Wow. You don't understand what I'm going through right now. I don't have time for this. I need to learn what I need to learn because it's a real world out here. That's you know real. what I'm saying? Yeah. And Again, when my mom passed, again before she passed, she showed me my my entrepreneurial life. Mm -hmm. You know, she was an evangelist. She toured every church in the city. Wow. I knew every church, every preacher in the city. I knew who was grimy. I knew who needed to come together, and they still need to come together. You know what I'm saying? Just like the promoters of the city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, don't, you know, wow, thirteen but, man. How did how did they how did y'all? Who who became your legal guardian? Was your father in your life? My my father. Yeah, because he said his father yeah. was in the same household. Yeah, yeah, so he became, he stepped up. Yeah, yeah, he stepped up. You know, he was just, just trying to soothe our pains with, you know, and, you know, back then, we was kids, you know, so trampolines, video arcade games. How the, far are you and Webby apart? Five years. Five years. Who's How many oldest? siblings? You I'm the oldest. Okay. Uh, my sister is five years older than me. Wow. Webby's five years younger than me, and then I got a brother that's one year younger than Webby. Webby, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, I was expecting you to say another five year. I'm like, that was such a big coincidence. That's all these five yeah. years. No, nah, yeah. that, that's my little big, well, my little big sister, mm. you know, and my So she was brothers. 18 when her, when, so all the same mom and dads? Yeah. So she was 18 when yeah. her mom passed away. Right, right. Wow. So um, you know how females are. So when something like that happened, did she try to be mom to all of y'all? Yeah, she, well, of course, to Webby and my younger brother, you know, she was our, they, they sister mama. Right. You know, me, she was my little big sister. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know, if, if somebody come play, you know, hey, I'm, I'm the big brother. Right. So... You gonna you gonna have to see me, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, she was she's that's my sister mom. Right. Wow. That's his sister mom, and he still call his sister mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's that's all, crazy. That's yeah, he got a song actually that says that sister mama. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How, yeah. It she never dropped. Been yet, happy. Though. Oh, really? Why not? No, it never dropped. That's crazy. You know, it's a lot of label situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, things happen. I think around that time, uh, Boosie might have 
went into the studio and trashed all the equipment or some shit. Yeah, it happens, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.